Hello everybody, welcome back to How to Build a B-1 Bomber. Okay, I had a couple people asking some questions. What do I need to go to butchers for? This is what our other parts to our wing, okay? This is going to be our main spar, not this actual one. We cut this out of foam and then uh, we decided that we need to cut it out of tooling board, which is a much denser material. So, uh, so we can get it straight. You see down there that foam is just awful wobbly. And it'd be hard to jig it up straight like we did our wing, you know. We cut half of it out on that machine. Then we glass that half, then we turn that block over, then we cut almost all the way through to where it held the wing straight, you know. And then we glass the other side and then we cut it free of the foam. This we did just cut out. Which now it's just it's it's floppy. And it, also, this uh, hole right here, this is where our bearing's gonna sit. This is where our race for our bearing is gonna go down into. And this just has to be perfect. For me to cut this out a little oversized and glass it in there and get it to where I can actually mold it and still be exactly, because if it's just a little bit off that way and the top one's a little off that way, bam! Our, our incidence is wrong on the wings. So this hole has just got to be cut out perfect. And so we're going to use tooling board and we're going to cut new main part. Then we're going to mold this up. You see, we're going to mold it just like we did this and we're going to make these out of carbon fiber and this will be our main spar and it'll go inside of there because that piece that I'm molding now are just going to be our wing skins are just going to be our outer panels okay then these pieces are going to be the main spar this will be thick carbon fiber up here and we'll be able to taper it the thickness of the carbon fiber as we go down and then these are our flap tracks, okay, and uh, they just slide right along right there. Butch is going to cut these out on his machine out of a phenolic material. This is just kind of a rough prototype to uh, see how it's going to work and to get the, the movement right of the Fowler flap. See how that goes down. And then our flap will be cut separate, and it'll be this piece here, you see, and it goes out on the top more than it does the bottom, so it'll fit right up in there. And then this piece is actually our spoiler up in here in between them. And uh, But I think it's going to work as the plan anyway. Sure looks good on Butch's computer. <laughs> And uh, I got enough, I was thinking of a thing to work it. Had to get into my box of stuff. And I think something like this right here. You know, but maybe make a bigger wheel. You see what this does is it turns and it don't arc. You know what I mean? So we can actually mount the servos in hatches inside here that will connect in our flap maybe go through here that way see these blocks are going to connect to the spar right down there and maybe make some bigger wheels which would give it more travel you can see that cable that's welded up there and then it's welded in the back. That's a pretty cool little deal. Something like that maybe, but bigger. And then big old high torque servos, some 8611s. Uh, you know, three of them going across there, four. Might be better than them linear servos. I don't know, I have to get Butch's idea on this. I haven't showed him this. You have to give me your input on that, Butch. A little cheesy. Think it'll work? Hmm. 
I don't know. I'm just sitting here thinking, waiting for that resin to set up enough to start throwing some glass on it. Thought I'd show you all our main spar. And that's kind of the plan. And, uh, because this will be easy to mold. If we cut that out of the tooling board, we won't have to glass it, you see. All we got to do is uh, prime it and sand it, sand her smooth, mold her up. And that could be done quick, within a, you know, two days that could be done. And uh, lay up some skins. And you see that track is kind of going to be about the same track on the front. Maybe we can even tie them servos together to where the flaps come out, the spoilers come out. That's another idea. But uh, other than that, that epoxy is just about ready. But <coughs> we've kind of got this drawn out. We're going to cut away some of it. The carbon fiber, maybe put a couple of ribs in here. Because you know, you get something out of, made out of carbon fiber like this, you just got to keep it from collapsing. You know, especially when it's thick. That thing will be strong. And uh, that's the main spar plan for you new guys. You old guys knew what was up. But you never know. We might have a game game show. My main spar might be in it, so everyone needs to freshen up on this. <laughs> you just never know. But uh, man, we're getting down here, people. I'm getting excited about this. We're gonna get that stab molded up. Get my rudder molded up. Man, I almost have all my parts. And get these wings done. Oh yeah, these wings won't take long to build. Once I get these molds made, I'm in high gear now. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I've been rolling, man. Chugging away. But, I'm going to cut this one a little short. Put my camera on the charger. Maybe download these while it's charging. And when that white stuff gets ready, we'll put some cloth on. See you in a bit.